Uh, Factology 101, he says, RVD and DDP. I dare you to name a better role model, better than either of those two in the world of wrestling. So, you guys, you get that's pretty good as the observation right there, I think. You and DDP both put a lot to wrestling, I think. Yeah, DDP is a role model for me. I think so highly of that guy. He's helped so many people and uh, wrestlers that we know and also just so many ordinary people. And it's amazing. Like the before and after shit from students of his that subscribe themselves to his yoga and his lifestyle and they're able to turn themselves from being basically crippled and not being able to move to being able to like run sprints and walk on their hands and i wouldn't believe it if it wasn't real life and and real people that i know and shit and so my hat's off to ddp you know he's he he literally makes the world a better place yeah absolutely he does so much he's like to think what he did in wrestling is so cool because he started at 39 which was an age at that time was like oh you can't don't even kind of think about that at that juncture he did that he overachieved that he's like to overcome like dyslexia i believe and stuff too and then on top of it he saved so many lives of wrestlers and brought them back to prominency and in a good spot and that doesn't necessarily mean they had to be in back in the ring to do that they were just in good spots like jake and scott hall and Riggs and Buff Bagwell and plenty of others. It's it's really cool to see him just reach across all over and like just have an influence on people. So yeah, like what a purpose driven life that is. You know, right. yeah, mm-hmm. awesome. very well fulfilled. I want to get your. T- we talked about the invasion and stuff like that. DDP was part of that, but he was a very different part of that in a lot of ways because he was like the Undertaker's stalker, and in that storyline. And then later on, they transitioned him out into that motivational speaker, kind of stay positive, positive Luke Page and all that stuff. And very different from the DDP we saw in WCW. Uh, do you remember that time period with DDP and everything like that? I know you're doing your own thing at that juncture in WWE, but it was pretty different. From Ooh, what we used to. Man, not really. You know, like it's, it sounds familiar, mm-hmm. I think. I think I remember seeing like five seconds of it or something, you know, maybe I'm pulling the hood back and revealing himself or something, but, but yeah, I wasn't able to follow that at the time because I was into my, into my own thing with my head up my own ass. <laughs> yeah. It, there's um, a lot of stuff going on at that time for sure. With, with uh, WB and wrestling. Yeah. By the way, uh, you know, I went, I've said this a few times before, but I used to always want to have my stretch routine, which I'm known for, famous for, um, on some kind of platform where it would be accessible for people because stretching has been a huge part of my career, definitely a huge part of the success of my health and uh, and my durability. And um, DDP, long ago, 92 93 saw that i was stretching every day before matches only me and he said there's got to be something to it rvd stretches he does all these crazy bumps and doesn't get hurt and uh and that motivated him to to stretch you know and eventually he came up with ddp yoga um but we've always stayed close and um he was he's had obviously a lot of success with the uh, DDP yoga uh, and he's got the channels and distribution set up where he was going to distribute my stretch video, which would be like a home run, you know, if I could just deliver. Um, and I went there in Atlanta where he lives and sh- to his studios, you know, and then saw everything he's got to, to work with and try to plan it out and stuff. And anyway, that was the point of what I was going to say was he's got these, a big gym and he would like meet a few times a day with classes there and then also film that and you can have an app so you could be doing the classes with him 
online wherever you are in the world and then he's got like a, a kitchen in there like with a chef and then same thing in his house they like make pre-meals for like all the students or whatever ahead of time and knows exactly what he's putting into each of the meals and he had everything everything like sets a process you know to, to be able to, to to help people and to have the business end of it covered um from from his end to where everything that he's doing is 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 productive in that way and um my stretch video i don't think probably will ever happen and that's because it's i don't know how to how to bring it out of me really it's such an inner experience that um i've, I've thought of all kinds of different ways of of describing what I'm doing and it's it's there's nothing that I like anyway yeah so so that's that but man uh DDP's like like he's got it he's got the system set uh he knows what he's doing he's got production editing suites and, and stuff and um everything like in-house like in all these different rooms in the building and I know he's moved facilities since I've been there I look forward to seeing his new place again uh, really soon he uh, sent me some of these uh, power cuffs which um uh, give an awesome workout uh soon i'm gonna film a little something and put it on my youtube but um they're 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 cuffs like the ultimate warrior and you tighten them and you tighten them so much and the idea i think i've talked about this before but the idea is that it stops the blood from leaving uh your your arm but still allows blood to come into it. So it gets really pumped up to the point to where it hurts just to pump. It's so pumped that, that, that it hurts when you're doing a lot of, <laughs> a lot of reps like that. But it's really cool. And I wanted to learn um, th learn what it is that they're doing a little bit before I uh, try and get it filmed. But uh, uh, he has invited me and I will take him up on it sometime to come to Atlanta and then um you know um he's gonna get me set straight with it same thing with the legs and uh and that's pretty awesome too to put put the power cuffs on your legs and do um do your leg workout squats whatever and it's pretty cool you'll see at least i mean everyone's different but it, it, it tends to cause some vascularity that's not normally seen sweet i gotta keep that in mind for sure 